hope you're having a great day. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sigrida and welcome to my channel. So this video, as you notice, I wear uh, zero makeup at the moment. <laughs> I might look like a poop, but oh well. <laughs> Recently, I changed the way I do my brows and quite a few of you asked what I do and how I do it So I thought I'm gonna do a video showing it. So here it is. What we're gonna need I think I'm gonna show two ways that way I do my brows. Maybe each brow different way So what I use currently is the Revolution Pro brow pencil. So I use a one in a dark brown It has like a little brush on one side and then a pen on the other end. So I mostly use this but sometimes I mix up, like I use in one go, the pen and the eyebrow cushion by Revolution Pro. This cost less than a fiver. I can't remember how much, but it's super cheap. Basically, it's a cushion soaked up with a product. So I use in the color chocolate. So I use a brow pomade, a pomade. Uh, this one is a dark brown as well. Okay, so I zoomed in the camera a bit so you guys can see it better. So always what I start from is by brushing my brows into place how I would like this to be at first. So I just use the brush. This one is by Real Techniques, but you can just use your old mascara van, just clean it up and it'll do that trick, you know? So my brows are always the first thing I do when I start my makeup. But prior to that, I always apply the primer all over my face. So currently I'm obsessed with this one. You can tell it's only a tiny bit left because I've been using this literally daily. <laughs> and then what I do, I go in and put some concealer on my brows and my mobile lid. So the reason why I'm doing this, A, the product gonna last longer on the brows and B, obviously after doing my brows, I'm gonna do my foundation and all. So that's gonna prevent from like rubbing any product off or anything like that. So I'm using currently the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm not going like directly on the eyebrow as you see. I'm doing this in my every video. I'm pretty sure I just never expect lane what I'm doing exactly. So I'm going on my mobile lid as well a bit. I'm gonna go more on the mobile lid when I'm gonna do my eyes like shadow and all. As you see I went like around the brows so I didn't go straight into the brows. The next thing I'm doing I'm just taking the makeup sponge the damp one and pat it on. So later when I'm gonna be doing the foundation it's gonna be way easier not to you know, mess up my brows. Okay so after doing that I'm gonna once again go and brush the brow hairs into the place how I would like it to sit. Okay so next thing I'm doing if I go with a pen I always start from kind of outlining my brow from the middle. I never start from the beginning of a brow like anywhere here because no one wants a square brows right? So always start, basically you know where your brow arches, starting from this part always always, kind of outlining a little bit and the, what I'm doing next I'm just going on the outer corner of the brows. Try to balance your hand like with your pinky on your cheek to give yourself more precision rather than keeping just like that your hand, if that makes any sense. Open the other side of this precision brow pen, which has a, like a little brush, and I'm just brushing the product that we have on the brow. And as you see, I'm coming closer to the inner part to give more of a natural look, because I don't want it to be super bulky or anything. You see, I've been messing here. Totally fine. You know, if you not super precise, I'm gonna show you how to easily fix it. I don't know why I can't concentrate while I'm talking to do this properly. So the thing is why I use this brush rather than the clean one, because this brush already has some product on the brush. So this kind of, you know, moves it to the front of my brow. So what I'm doing next, I'm taking a small dense brush, coming back to the same concealer I used before. Don't take too much product on the brush, just a tiny little bit. And just clean up around your brow. Once again, using the brush that is on the other side of a pen. And just gonna brush it up. And the brow is nearly complete. The last step I do after I do all my makeup, I would use the clear brow gel. So recently I'm obsessed with this NYX Control Free brow gel. If you like it with the brow here, use the colored brow gel as it would add a little bit more of the oft to your brows or the one that would have a fiber, the same as a fiber mascara. So what the fiber would do, it would just stuck on your brow here, creating the more like hairy appearance. <laughs> okay, so for this brow, 
I'm gonna use the pomade, pomade, I don't know how to pronounce. This one is by Revolution Pro as well in the same color, dark brown, exactly the same as this pen. Sometimes I do combine these and use together, but I think for this video I'm just gonna use separately. I'm taking the brow brush by Real Techniques. Once again, starting from the end of my brow, like the outer corner, as I want the color to be concentrated more on that side. The pomade, you're gonna want to use less because it's very, very intense comparing to the pen. Whatever is left on the brush, then I'm going closer to the, you know, inner corner of the brow. Not adding any product or anything. Coming back to the brow brush from a, this pen, or you can just use a clean one from your mascara. Just brushing it up. Once again, taking the brush and a bit of a concealer in it, I'm gonna clean the brow. And my brows are pretty much complete, so if you think you put a bit too much product, you can use the same little detailed brush with like what's left of the concealer. Don't add more and just kind of blend a bit. That would soften the brow. Or if you think you have too much, too much of a product, use the same damn makeup sponge that you use for your foundation and all, like afterwards, and just pat on the top of your brow and that would kind of soak up the excess product of your brow. So next thing I'm doing, I would do this normally after I have foundation and everything, you know, done, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do it now. So I'm applying a bit of a clear brow gel. This one is my next. You can use the one that has like a smaller brush, you know, span part. That might be a bit easier for you to brush if you have not too many brow hair, or the one that would have a fibers on, like I mentioned to create more of a more fluffed brow. As you can see, I'm brushing the hair slightly bit up on the like, beginning of the brow, and then I'm kind of bending it to the side in here, to the outer part of the brow. So I'm just brushing the way I want my brow to sit because after the brow gel will dry, it's not gonna look like all day long. And the brows are done. For me, it looks identical no matter if I use the brow pen or the brow pomade. Do you guys can see a difference between the products I used or it looks for you identical? Because what I'm looking in the mirror, for me it looks exactly the same because I use exactly the same color and it's the same brand, so I know the color is matching. And yeah, the brows are complete. So after you apply visual, the brows are gonna stay like this all day long, no matter the weather. And I tried and tested this out, you know, on the vacay as well, in the big wind, the ocean, the waterfalls and all, and my brows were fine. So it stands for everything, you know, after you apply the brow gel, which just sits like this all day long. What I wanna mention in this video quickly, I am about to do giveaway. Not sure when I'm posting this video, I'm sure that giveaway will still be available. So I got a bunch of products from the companies who support me. So I thought I'm gonna do a little giveaway. So I'm gonna do at least four as I already put the bundles of what I want to give away. I'm gonna do it properly on my Instagram. So you better go and check it out now and check this out if you wanna get loads of goodies. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you found this helpful. If so, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and I shall see you very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching and bye. Have a great day, guys. See you soon.